The new American Express White Gold revamp is officially live today, July 25th, 2024. In this video, we're going to be going over all the new official benefits, the next steps that you need to take if you already have the gold card, and what I think personally about the new changes. So let's get into it. The new refresh comes with a new $100 resi credit that is billed to you semi-annually, $50 every six months. Basically from January to June, you get $50 in resi credits, and July to December, you get $50 in resi credits again. The $100 $20 dining credit is still the same except Shake Shack and Milk Bar are now removed and in comes 5 guys. The sign up bonus is now only 60,000 points plus 20% back on dining up to $100 but according to Doctor of Credit you can actually find a 100,000 membership reward point offer plus 20% back on dining up to $100 if you get targeted or if you find it on like incognito mode or another browser. So if you can manage to find that 100,000 point offer, take it immediately. That is the absolute highest offer the gold card has ever had. Also, the white gold card is officially available today, July 25th, 2024. And finally, the controversial $7 monthly Dunkin Donuts credit totaling to $84 annually. Now, if you have the card already, you have to actually enroll in the new Dunkin and Resi credits. Now just sign into your Amex account like you normally would. And when you go into the membership tab, there's gonna be this little button that says, explore your new benefits. Then just click on that button. It's gonna take you to this page, introducing the new credits. And then it's gonna take you to the benefits page where you can actually enroll in the credits. Just find the $100 resi credit. Scroll down on that page to find that enroll now button. Click on that button. It's gonna take you to this page where you have to toggle on this little check mark thing. I understand and agree the terms just like you normally would and then just press enroll now and after that it's going to send you an email and it's going to say congratulations you are now enrolled into the 100 dollars resi credit so the way this resi credit works is that you're just going to book a restaurant on resi.com you're going to go eat there and then pay the bill with your amex gold card and then it says up to eight weeks later a 50 dollars statement credit is going to appear on your statement now for the dunkin donuts credit the same exact thing just go to the membership tab click on the new credit and press enroll now it's going to take you to this page right here where you could just click on enroll again and then click on that little toggle I agree button and it'll say congratulations you are now enrolled into the Dunkin Donuts credit you'll also get an email as well now pretty simple once again just use your gold card to pay for your Dunkin Donuts purchase every month and you will get a seven dollar monthly credit for it now if you're curious like I was as to what seven dollars can get you at Dunkin Donuts because I've never personally been there you can actually get three donuts or you can get one refresher or you can actually get one latte, except for the latte and refresher, it's actually gonna be $7.13. So you're actually gonna still pay 13 cents if you want these drinks. This is such a random credit. I never thought they would actually go through with this. I never thought I'd be talking about Dunkin' Donuts on my channel. Now, if you want that brand new white gold card to replace your old rose gold or just gold card, then you can do that as well today. Just go into your app and find the account button and find the replace my card button. Then click on the gold card. It'll take you to this page with your name on it click your name and after that you can have the option to choose white gold and one of the options there i did this this morning because i'm a content creator it would be nice to show off the white gold card to you guys but if you don't really care it doesn't even really matter to be honest and other than that that is the only new things that you have to do everything else stays the same just use your ten dollar monthly credit on grubhub and your ten dollars uber eats credit on uber eats and yeah, just keep earning those points with those four times multipliers. Now, what do I personally think about all these changes? Well, a part of me says that they really dropped the ball on this one, especially for that Dunkin' Donuts credit if you live in the West Coast or anywhere where Dunkin' Donuts isn't really prominent for you. California only has 143 Dunkin' Donuts locations, while New York has 1,428 Dunkin' Donuts locations. I've lived in SoCal all my life, and on the top of my head, I think I can only think of maybe like one Dunkin Donuts location that I kind of know of. Conveniently, it's actually next to my fiance's house. It's like right next door actually. But in all these years of dating, we've never even been there once. I totally wish instead of a Dunkin Donuts credit, this was a Krispy Kreme credit because man, when I have a Krispy Kreme donut, I go places. And I have had a Dunkin Donut, Dunkin donut before in my life, but it kind of reminds me of a grocery store donut. And don't get me wrong, I love grocery store donuts, but nothing hits the same quite like a soft, warm Krispy Kreme donut. Krispy Kreme is the king. Now the resi credit is actually pretty useful in my opinion. Yes, the annual fee now is $75 higher, but 
the Resi credit kind of makes up for it with $100. I think the trick to the Resi credit is to find a restaurant on Resi.com where you can get a full meal for your partner and you for only $50. For example, this is one of my favorite joints that I can find on Resi. It's called Katin. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's here in LA, but they have these amazing short rib tacos that I can definitely get two portions of for me and my, my fiance. And that would definitely fill me up for under $50. And I think that's why if you live in LA or like a bigger city where Resi is pretty prominent, you have many options where $50 can actually get you a lot of good food. Basically with this Resi credit, I get two free date nights every year. Well, actually I get four free date nights because my fiance and I have both have Amex cards. I'm sorry, this is just gonna kind of suck for you. So I think there's two camps of people here. The first camp of people are those people that live in big cities that can really utilize the Dunkin' Donuts and Resi credit pretty easily. And if we look at just the numbers objectively, the annual fee is now $325, whereas the credits alone now give you $424 that nets you positive $99. Now the second camp of people are those people that don't live in big cities where Dunkin' Donuts and Resi are not prominent at all in your area. So if we look at the numbers objectively here and you can't use the Resi credits, well, then you get $240 in dining credits, whereas the annual fee is gonna be $325 this nets you negative $85. So if you're someone that can't use the Resi or the new Dunkin' Donuts credit, well, I'm so sorry, but your effective annual fee is definitely going up. Now, I think there's actually a third camp of people where none of this actually even matters because this camp of people just looks at the point multipliers and the transfer partners that utilize their points for amazing luxury travel. Let me explain. This year, I earned 50,000 Amex points from my grocery and dining spend. And that I think is the absolute main benefit of having the gold card is that four times point multiplier. Now with these same 50,000 points, I transferred them out to Air France where I got this flight right here, New York to Paris one way business class, Air France that only cost me 50,000 Amex points or 50,000 flying blue miles. Now this flight would have originally cost me $3,000 and there's no way I'm paying $3,000 for a flight. This flight was completely on the house from Amex because I used that Amex benefit of four times points. So since I got $3,000 worth of travel this year, just from 50,000 Amex points, well, it doesn't really matter what my annual fee is because now I made $3,000 compared to $325. I would trade $325 for $3,000 any day. So if you're someone that utilizes your points for these amazing business class flights and use them for luxury travel like this, well, in my opinion, I don't really think the annual fee does matter because the main benefits of having this card is that you're getting business class flights out of it. And if you're someone that doesn't spend money on business class flights, because these flights are like $3,000, $5,000, $7,000, then you're definitely getting value out of this no matter what the annual fee is. We all buy food, we all buy groceries. So if you're someone that just gets a lot of benefits out of this spend, then this card is a no brainer in my opinion. So even if you're in a small city where Resi or Dunkin Donuts aren't really available for you and you use this method of getting points and booking them for luxury travel, then yeah, I think I still think this card is viable. So am I gonna keep the gold card this year even with this new increase? I would say totally because Every year I'm gonna travel internationally once and every year I'm gonna get some business class flights for my fiance and I. I spent 200,000 Amex points this year for four business class flights from New York to Paris, from London to LAX. This would have cost me $12,000, but instead I just used 200,000 Amex points. So even if that annual fee was $500 for me and I got zero benefits, this benefit alone just gets me so much luxury travel that and so much value in the thousands that it doesn't even matter what the annual fee is for me. So what do you guys think about the refresh? Comment down below what you guys have to think. I'm actually really curious if I'm just kind of like the only one standing keeping the gold card. Do you think Amex is now a coupon book company? Are you guys going to keep the gold card yourselves? Do you guys hate the new benefits? Let me know down in the comments below. Now, if you want to know more about that topic of utilizing your points to book these amazing business class flights, then make sure to check out this video right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys found this video to be informative. And until next time, I will see you. Woo!